Yo. <laughs> That's what's up. Check this out. I want you guys to listen and pay attention. Guess who's not affected by coronavirus? Guess who's not shut down? While schools are shut down, libraries are shut down, March Madness is canceled, the NBA is canceled, NASCAR canceled, the PGA canceled, medical conference is canceled. Guess who's bringing you all the toilet paper that some of you seem to so desperately need that you're fucking hoarding it 7,000 rolls at a time with the 500 gallons of hand sanitizer? The American trucker. We don't get the shelter in the safe space. We don't get to work from home. So while you're playing Sudoku, sipping your coffee, playing on your laptop, eating your Cheetos, and sanitizing your hands while you apparently wipe your ass every minute of the hour, remember to thank the American trucker who once again, during every disaster, every natural disaster, every epidemic, pandemic, has always been there for you. The American trucker made sure that that shit you have got there. My nigga. <laughs> Yo, drop one of them bombs on that. Drop a bomb on that once again. Hit it again. Yes, sir, the American trucker. That is us. That is what we do in every epidemic, every storm, every catastrophe. The American trucker. Yes, sir. That is us. That is what we do. Rain, sleet, heat, whatever. We come through for you guys. We don't stop. We don't break. We don't sleep. We run 24 hours a day. I'm at home chilling, talking to you guys. But there is a truck driver out there driving as we speak, bringing you the toilet paper that you need. The sanitizer that you need. The hand soap that you need. What if we stop running? Then what? Then what? You guys is going out there hoarding everything, thinking that the world is going to come to an end. Now, you, you think this coronavirus is going to stop? It's going to stop everything? No, 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 no. No, it's, no, it isn't. The corona is not going to stop. You want to know what stops everything? Truck drivers. We don't have days off. When we get sick, we still got to bring you the products to make sure that we feel better. Hospital medications, dollar store, dollar products. Us, the American truck driver. The guys that sacrifice their lives to make sure that your lives are good. But see, you guys don't think about that. You guys don't think about us when we're in traffic. You guys want to cut us off because y'all in a hurry to get to that Minimum wage job that is now closed. The government came in and shut everything down. Government says, yo, for two weeks, we don't want no gatherings, no restaurants, no, no sports, no nothing. Everything is shut down. The government came in and said, yo, we are shutting it down. But you want to know what they you want to know what and who they didn't shut down? You guessed it. The American trucker. You are exactly right. Down. While schools are shut down, libraries are shut down, March Madness is canceled, the NBA is canceled, NASCAR canceled, the PGA canceled, medical conferences canceled. 
guess who's bringing you all the toilet paper that some of you seem to so desperately need that you're fucking hoarding it 7,000 rolls at a time with the 500 gallons of hand sanitizer? The American trucker. We Hit that bomb. That's what we do out here. We come through for you guys. We come through. You know? You don't go, you don't, you don't see the American truck driver doing shit like this. You don't you don't see us doing shit like this. Oh wait, let me see. Hold on. Hold on, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it for you guys. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it for you guys so y'all can see that you guys don't see the American truck drivers doing this shit right here. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. The American truck driver. You don't see us doing that. You you may see us arguing about uh simple shit like how long a motherfucker will stay in the fuel island. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass out of that damn truck, fuel up your truck, and get the fuck gone. I'm on the clock, bro. I ain't got time for you to fill up your truck. Go inside. Come back out. Take your take your nozzle out. Hang it up. Move up a little bit and then go back inside and take a shit while holding me up in the fuel island. That's that's what we'll probably that, when you come and see us. That's what we probably might be tripping out about. We tripping out about that shit. You know what I'm saying? We we you don't see us truck drivers tripping out over toilet paper. Now there's some truck drivers out there that really needs to use some toilet paper. You know? Don't get me wrong. Come on now. Come on now. There are some of you that really <laughs> needs that. That really need that toilet paper. Y'all need that. I'm just saying. Y'all need that toilet paper to wipe that nasty ass of yours. And when you at the truck stop, see, this is the see, this is the problem. Y'all remember that movie Outbreak? Y'all remember that? Hold on right quick. Let me see. Outbreak. Y'all don't remember that. Movies come in the past. Y'all don't remember that shit, right? Morgan Freeman. Uh What's that dude named Dustin Hoffman and uh, Cuba Gooden Jr.? Y'all don't remember that shit. See, I can't, I, I can't play the movie because I probably might get demonetized. But I'll show you guys right quick. This, this is it right here. Outbreak. Right here. All because of a fucking monkey. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that shit? It was a monkey. A goddamn monkey that started an epidemic because a guy didn't want to cover up his mouth on a damn airplane, came in, and then got everybody sick. And they had to quarantine. Then they was look, dude, they was talking about they they was talking about doing motherfucking um uh, exterm cleaning nation or whatever. They was gonna nuke that bitch. They was going to wipe that whole town clean if they didn't find the cure. Luckily enough, Dustin Hoffman found the cure. And that's what's going on right now. Somebody from fucking China came over because they was fucking, somebody was sick that didn't cover their mouth or whatever, and they caught it and they brought it over here. And the government, maybe the government should have known. Maybe not. But the government lied to us all the time, though. I mean, the government lied to us all the time. But now the government stepped in and shut down all your favorite places. 
You can't go to eat. You can't go to play. You can't go to watch. You can't go to listen. But you want to know what the government didn't shut down, though? He didn't shut down the truck driver. The American truck driver. That's me. The truck driver that sacrificed him to come on out there. Just imagine. Just imagine for a minute. I'll wait. Yeah, y'all can't imagine it because it's never going to happen. I, well, never say, I, I'm going to say never say never. I'm never going to never say never because it just might happen. But maybe now, maybe now you come to respect us a little bit more. When you see us coming, you give us, you, you get out of our way. When you see that we need to make that left turn, that right turn, and you decide to move all the way past that white line that you know you need your ass behind so that it give us enough room to make that right or left turn, maybe now you'll give it to us. Maybe now you'll, maybe now you'll understand the sacrifice that we go through. Maybe. Now that now that it's affecting you, it's affecting you now. It's affecting you and your money. You might be a minimum wage person sitting at home like I'm doing right now, but I'm I'm about to go to work tomorrow, though. About to start my truck up, hook up to a trailer that hook up to a trailer that that needs to get somewhere that probably might have the farm might have the stuff that you need. Like Gojo products, for example, they the ones that make that Perel. I guarantee you, I get a, uh, I get a load tomorrow. That's gonna go somewhere to your favorite store and restock, so you guys could come back and do this shit right here. This shit right here. Let me. Hold on, hold on now. Hold on, hold on. It's, it's, I get it there. I get it. I get it. This shit right here. We're going to brain the shit so you guys could do this all over again. Look at that. This shit's handling him too. Look at that. Hey, fuck. That's enough. Damn shame. Damn shame. On some toilet paper, though. Toilet paper. Y'all need all that toilet paper. Really, though, you you need all that toilet paper. Let me let me let me rewind it so I can get a good look. All that toilet paper. Y'all need that. A carton full of fucking toilet paper. I mean, what? You guys got diarrhea or something? Really? Y'all got diarrhea? I mean, I I take my diabetes medicine. And I have, you know, the side effects of it is, of course, diarrhea. You know what I'm saying? And when the medicine goes to work, trust me, it goes to work. I got plenty of toilet paper, but really though, do I need that much toilet paper because of of, of a pandemic? I mean, 
maybe a carton full of sanitizer, a carton full of disinfected Lysol, carton full of uh, dishwashing liquid, the antibiotic kind, a carton full of uh, a carton full of a uh, I don't know a- antibacterial soap. Carton full of toilet paper though For real For real Really Really I mean Really I I can't I can't Really nigga I can't see it I can't see it This crisis Is Is making everybody shook I got I got email From just about Everybody from around the world you know, like I said, I, I go to the casinos. Now I don't I don't mind the casinos and and the gyms. The gyms too. I don't mind the casinos and the gyms being closed down doing this uh doing this clearing, this cleansing, or something like that. The COVID nineteen or whatever, coronavirus, whatever. I don't mind them being closed down. Almost every casino in every state <clears throat> that I that I play at, Ohio, Michigan, uh, and a couple of others, they close, shut them down, and that should take enough time to wash them chips and clean them tables. That's not going to stop me from taking uh, sanitizer with me when I go to the casinos again. Every it's germs, so much germs that being passed in the casino is fucking crazy. It really is. And in the gyms too, you know what I'm saying? All that sweat, that bodily fluid. You 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 on a treadmill, then another person come on the treadmill, then another person come on the treadmill. I guarantee you that after all said and done, that when you go to the gym again. They're going to have, like, like I think Planet Fitness got that lurk bell when you grunt and all like that. I bet you they're going to have a bell. They, they're going to have somebody. They're going to have a, a snitch or somebody that's going to walk around and be like, yo, bro, you, you ain't wipe off that. Uh, you ain't wipe off that equipment right there. I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen, man. I'm telling you. But Hopefully. Hopefully you you guys come to appreciate what the American truck driver values. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. The American truck driver, we we we're not going to get shut down. The day the day we get shut down is the day that it may it it may be a it may be a, a cliche, but the day that we shut down is the day American stops. American stops. Come on back. Guess who's not affected by coronavirus? Guess who's not shut down? While schools are shut down, libraries are shut down, Mark's Madness is canceled, the NBA is canceled, NASCAR canceled, the PGA canceled, medical conference is canceled. Guess who's bringing you all the toilet paper that some of you seem to so desperately need that you're fucking hoarding it 7,000 rolls at a time with the 500 gallons of hand sanitizer? The American trucker. Yeah, y'all hoarding that shit now. At first, at first, it was it was not a big deal. You got people that goes in the damn bathroom all the time that do the number two, number one, or whatever they do, and then they leave up out of there and don't wash their hands. Then they go to the then they go to the buffet or to the restaurant, make their order, and put their hands all on there. I got a newfound resortment to people that's making my food now. At first, it, at first you you go into these. At first, you go in there. You see, you see, like Subway, 
Now you see now, you know, at least some of the subway guys, they wash their hands after every customer. After they take off their gloves, they wash their hands. They put in some new gloves on. They don't use the same gloves on a new customer. I respect that. Not a problem. But then when you go to McDonald's, you see you you see these you and I'm talking about I'm talking about the ghetto McDonald's. Now I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, my bad, but I'm just going to have to say this because it's, it's from experience, but the ghetto McDonald's, them the ones that don't have the hairnet on, them the ones that got them long-ass fingernails with all that garbage on their nails and all like that, them the ones that got them, them weaves on that goes all the way down to their to they back, they don't have no hairnet, no nothing. They be back there making your food, hair getting your food, jewelry, whatever gets into the into your food. I got a I got I got a newfound resentment now. Do I really do I really gotta be that brother now? Do I really gotta be him? I I really gotta really, I really gotta be that person now to be like, yo, I wanna see. The person cooking my food now. Do we got gloves on? Do we got a hairnet on? Do we got an apron on? I tell you, when I used to work for, I used to work for Nestle. Let me let me tell you how 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 they was. We had we had to change out of our street clothes. We had to put on all white outfit we had hair net beard net uh goggles gloves telling you when you're dealing with food (laughs) we we couldn't even we couldn't wear jewelry we couldn't even keep nothing in our pockets we couldn't have nothing in our pockets if we had something in our pockets we got written up there were some people that did cheat though don't get me wrong you know what I'm saying? Some people did cheat. But we had net hair nets, aprons. We had it all. We was protected from top to bottom. Messing with your food. But that's when I worked it in uh that's when I was like, no, I can't. I can't. I was making good money, but after my accident, no. But the American truck driver, though, we still stand. In any catastrophe. Now, they over here talking about the hours of service. The government said that the that the hours of service is suspended, but not for everybody, though. Not for everybody. Not for uh, no. If you if you run into the, the FEMA lows or or the, the lows that that need, you know, for people that need the help or whatever, then you're good to go. But if you still running your regular loads and you need to stop and pull over and shut down for the 10 or the 34, then that's what you do. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? The American truck drivers, y'all. The American truck drivers. Let me get that bomb. The American truck drivers, that's what we do. We come through for you. We come through for you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no plan. We don't play no games. We don't play no games with you. We ain't playing with you. We come through for you. We are out there spending our time. We got people that's, that, that want to come into this game that just don't understand. When they get into it, it's a mentality. That you're gonna be gone for months, maybe times, maybe days, maybe months, maybe years on end. I know a truck driver that literally drives and lives in the truck for the company that he, I mean, that he worked for. I I did it. I did it. I came. I came and I did. I did six months at a time. I did six months. Came home. For about a week, week or two, went back out, did another six months, came back home. It's this bread chasing. 
You know, some people do it for the bread. Some people do it for the lifestyle. Some people do it just to do it because they don't have nothing else to do. The American truck driver that comes through for you guys. Remember, remember that nice car that you drive, that nice house that you drive, the food that you eat. The, the 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 products, your hygiene products that you use that you should use to clean your ass and the hygiene products that you're out here hoarding because of this epidemic, the coronavirus. I don't even drink Corona. I don't even understand where they get some of these names from. Every time there's an outbreak, there's a name for it, Corona. Last year, it was Hurricane something. A uh, couple of years ago in New Orleans, it was Hurricane Katrina. Every, every catastrophe has a fucking name to it. Every pandemic has a fucking name to it. Uh, Tropical Storm Harry was in Houston last year. Rain, sleet, snow, thunderstorm, tornado. A tornado ripped through uh, Nashville, Tennessee just last week. Ripped through Nashville, Tennessee last week. That probably had a name to it, but you want to know who was still rolling? The American truck driver. Yep, we were still, we were still rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. But you know what? The American truck drivers, though, even though I'm giving us some praise, there are some there are some garbage ass truck drivers out there, though, because we we do some garbage ass shit. Um, how about how about this guy right here? What's up? You got me in the middle of talking about the American truck driver. What's going on? Uh, you're very welcome. That's that's what I do. That's that's what the American truck driver do. The American. Listen here. Let me let me hold on. Let me drop one bomb. Hold on. See, I had to drop that bomb again because the American truck driver. Let me tell you, the American truck driver goes out of the way. Right. The American truck. The American truck driver goes out of the way to make sure that hold, hold on right quick i got hold on hold, hold on right quick hold on hold on hold on wait 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 hold on right quick hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let me uh bluetooth okay hold on there we go hold on i think it's I think it, there you go. Okay, can you hear me? Check one, two. See, I don't want to be on. No, no, or... you, no, you rocking. You rocking. No. You rocking with the American truck driver. Well, a big thank you to all the American truck drivers out there doing the thing, out there hauling those laws, mm -hmm. those uh, boats, making sure that people fight over their toilet paper, making sure these babies got their formula making sure that people got their medicine. Uh, you guys are the true heroes. Okay? We, are the, we are the truth. We are the truth. You know what I'm Keeping saying? Keeping the and these stores stocked up. Thank you for making those long haul trips. Thank you for the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Thank you for the sacrificing of your family life and your time to, to do a job. And you are the backbone of America. We so thank we are the American truck drivers that sacrifice for okay. you. Thank you, uh, American person. Thank you okay. very, thank you very much for calling in. Even though I can only hear you in one ear, thank you for calling in <laughs> and and right. appreciating appreciating what the American truck driver can do for you, America. <laughs> All right, I'll holler at you later. Bye. The American truck driver, y'all. 
Just saying. Just saying. The American, the American truck driver. We come through. We come through for you. I'm just saying. All you got to do is just appreciate what we can do for you. But like I said before, before I get up out of here, there are some truck drivers that that are some dicks. You are, there, there are some dicks like this guy. Um, what are you taking a picture for, no, jerk off? I'm making a Don't video. Don't fucking mind your business. Make making a, a video. video. I'm making How do you a know video. that's mine? I just saw you throwing. So what are you fucking worrying about what I'm doing with my garbage? Because you're throwing I threw it out of the truck. How do you, you know I wasn't going to throw it away? You, you wasn't. Huh? You wasn't. Get down you. the fucking road, jerk off. Stop worrying about that I shit. I have a video of you. Can you get your license plate? The American truck driver, y'all. Let, let me hit that bomb. There are some there are some there are some good truck drivers out there and then there are some bad truck drivers out there. That one right there is a bad one. The one that's doing this podcast is a good one. The one that would get up in the morning from the bunk to the steering wheel and get you your products. The American the American truck drivers. Remember when you see us respect us we don't ask for nothing else we don't know you personally we just know that you need the stuff that we got to bring and on that note i just want to say that from this truck driver to another i appreciate you i thank you i thank you for your sacrifice i thank you for your time i thank you for your for your due diligence due diligence that you that you do i know what you go through because i am i am one of you i am like you i know what you go through pre-trip post-trip driving shipper receiver terminal dispatch everything i know what you go through and i just want to say thank you my hand is out I can't, unfortunately, I can't shake your hand. I wish I could, but I'll give you the fist bump. I'll give you the fist bump and the, and the bomb. And on that note, y'all, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host. Lockout men. Yes, sir. And I will come back to you guys with another, another one, and another one, and another one. And hopefully, I can still come with more content that you guys can enjoy. Again, I am Lockout Man, and I'll come back. And what? No, I'm, you know I'm I, you you know I'm going to come back with another video. So all I'm going to say is we are gone.